It's almost ready. Just needs concrete. Next video will be on these steps, so check that one out too. We're replacing our window wells. Why? Because they were made out of this stuff on the very bottom, the first uh, foot and a half, about. But then on the top, it looks to me like someone at some point had raised the dirt level on this. And they had these shovel handles and two by six steel studs that they kind of filled in with concrete around the top of it to retain the dirt, which obviously significantly rotted away. All right, so we're redoing those. We're gonna make concrete ones out of it. This is what we're left with. You can see it's kind of like two tiers. Like this was the first galvanized metal that brought it up at first, but then they brought it back and then brought the dirt up and had another one there. So code says we need to have three feet off of the face of the basement wall for egress from these are all bedroom windows so we're gonna go three foot and then we're gonna put our first form this is all dug out this runs into some concrete steps from the front door so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dowel into the side of the step and on the other side where we're returning into the wall we're gonna dowel into the wall with some probably number four rebar there's a look of how it looks the one window well is all dug out ready to start forming so from the face of this concrete basement wall, we're gonna come out three foot. So you can see we need to dig quite a bit, but we actually need to dig past the three point line because that's where the wall is gonna start, the window well is gonna start. In this case, we're gonna dig at least six inches past that so we can have a six inch wall. We need to make these two pieces able to screw it in together. This will make up two sides out of the three-sided basically box. So there's a tight bank of dirt that we won't have enough room to get a screw in from the outside of the form. So what I'm doing is I'm marking this, I'm dropping it, three quarters of an inch, which is the thickness of this, three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna screw in a wooden stake onto here so that I can simply butt this in to this side and then screw in through the wooden stake into this. I'll show you what I mean if it doesn't make sense. These holes have been pilot drilled. So this form will go down. That one will sit, this notch will sit right on top of here. And then you can sink screws in through here to grab onto this one. So that way, because there's no gap not a big enough gap in here, it's like a six inch gap. That way you can actually get the thing together without having to be on this side. You're cutting these bottom braces. Most of the time this won't be an issue, but in this case I have to notch it around this stake here. But take that into consideration. You're gonna want, definitely one across the bottom because that's where the most pressure is. So it's most prone, prone to blow out at the bottom. So you're going to want to, this 2x4 is going to kind of distribute that force evenly across the whole span of the wall. You're also going to want one on the top too, just to keep it nice and straight. But that one is going to have a lot less pressure on it than the bottom one. For these overlaps on these bottom braces and the tops, I've been using some, I think they were uh, T25 deck screws. But most commonly, you would use 16 penny duplex nails. When you're looking for a box of them, It'll say 16D duplex. That's what you're looking at. It has a double head, so you can pull out the nail. You can hook it with your hammer, pull it out a lot easier later when you're stripping the forms. Here's an update on what we got. We have these stakes holding this up to grade, so we're level with these forms back here. We have these ones spacing it out so that everything's a consistent width across the whole thing. Back in this corner, we gotta add some more forms because this goes down way too far. So, you know, all the mud, unless the part's super, super stiff, all the mud will go out that way. So we're gonna kind of retain that with another two by six or something. So there's that. This one's actually close enough to the dirt. I just have it shimmed with rocks and whatever. The height is good. You can actually step on that. It's pinned into this right here. But there, there's actually like a slab of slate underneath this dirt that you can't really see it. This is sitting right on top of. Same with this one. This is all spaced out, just like the other sides. 
kicked, uh, you know, spaced out with stakes, screw in the top, or you can put an eight penny duplex nail in is really the way to go. I don't know why I did screws. And then uh, something holding it vertical. That stake right there is kind of holding it. That's actually pushing it this way just in case whatever the dirt doesn't hold. This one's holding it up to height, as is this one. These are spreading it out to the right width. This one we will, the dirt's actually high enough. I don't know if we'll need to put a board under there or not, but uh, we'll kind of address that next time we're working on it.